The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be really fun to take you all thrifting with me today. And the first store I'm gonna visit is the Goodwill. I love this store, it's right in our town, so it's about a five to 10 minute drive from our house. And I really wanted to look at all the Christmas decor that was left. I don't know, it's fun to find vintage pieces or just pieces that aren't in all the stores. And I did stumble on these plates. I thought they were so pretty with the cardinal and then I think it's holly berries around them and they were $2.49 each and they had two in the stores but I thought those were absolutely gorgeous and then I came across this little tea light holder and I thought it was so unique with the poinsettias and also the birds on it so that was another piece that I really loved. They also had a lot of snowman which I think are so adorable for the Christmas season and everything was really decently priced. I loved this rattan sleigh, it was $3.49. And then they also had a lot of little nativity scenes which I thought would look so beautiful on a mantle or somewhere that you could really display them. They had this vintage looking Santa as well as this angel. And then I really thought this winter pitcher was perfect for the winter season. I didn't have a spot that was big enough for it, but I really did love that piece. And then typically after I look at all my decor, I will go and browse the clothing section just to see if there's any good finds there. So the next store we visited was Value Village. This is also in our town. It's quite a big Value Village actually. And it was pretty quiet the day that I went in and they had all the Christmas displayed right in the center aisle. So the clothing, stockings, decor. So I first wanted to just browse this aisle and see what they had. I really like this Cardinal stocking and they had a lot of really unique pieces here but I was really selective. I was only looking for certain pieces that really brought me joy I guess and that I really knew I would use so I didn't really find too much this day but I had been to Valley Village probably a week before and I did find a few things then so I'll be sure to show all my pieces that I did get and I was really debating buying this candle holder so let me know if you think I bought it in the comments. So after we went to Value Village, I thought it would be really nice to go for a walk and it started snowing and I had my hat and my stuff in the car so I thought why not bundle up and just go on one of our favorite trails in town. I could spend hours at this trail. I love being outside and I think fall and winter are my favorite times to walk this because it's so peaceful. There's hardly anyone that's ever on the trail and there's so many little rivers and streams here. So it just looks so picturesque with the snow falling and it definitely put me in the holiday mood and it was just so nice being out in nature. I don't know what your happy place is. Let me know in the comments, but I've definitely been enjoying being outside more the older that I've gotten. I know this video is a little bit different than I typically do, but I thought it would be fun to show a little bit of a day in the life, as well as the thrifting and where I style all my new pieces. So let me know if you do like this video. I'm just arriving home now after being on the trail, and in the morning I had put some chicken and potatoes in the crock pot, so I was just checking on that because I knew it would be nice to have an easy supper ready for us. And then because it was so cold out and we walked the trail probably for about an hour, I thought it would be really nice to make something warm while supper was finishing up and I love using my kettle in the winter I don't know something about it just feels really nostalgic and cozy so I knew that I wanted to fill up my kettle and I was thinking that I was going to make a tea or an apple cider I always end up going to this clear mug. I don't know why. I think because I like being able to see what's inside my cup and it was just from the Dollarama and it's one of my favorite cups. And then I did decide that I was gonna make an apple cider. I did buy this apple cider mix at the grocery store. I'd never tried this one before, but I actually really did like it. And it's just nice to have something quick and easy 
um, to be able to pull out when you are craving that warm hot beverage and it was a perfect night for it it was storming I don't know what the weather's been like where you guys are but it's been really cold and snowy here so I think we are going to get a white Christmas this year which I'm really happy about but let me know in the comments what the weather's been like where you are and if you get any snow So after I made my apple cider, I wanted to get all cozy in the living room and show you all the little finds that I did um, end up finding at the thrift stores the last couple times that I've been. It's not a lot of stuff, but it's definitely things that I really loved. And I'm trying to really just buy things that I love and not have a lot of clutter. And I thought it would be super cute to show this clip of Holstein. He loves romaine lettuce. And I've been trying to get him to eat more things that are really healthy and not just processed. So he was just snacking on romaine lettuce, which I think is absolutely adorable. I don't know if your dogs like vegetables, but he will eat pretty much all vegetables, which is really nice. This is so cute. After I gave him the romaine, he was looking to see if I had more lettuce. So I thought that was super adorable. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this Christmas book. I love it. It's a Canadian Christmas book. It shows recipes. I think it's so beautiful. So I'm excited to display that. And then the next thing I bought were these really vintage looking candle holders. And something about them felt super nostalgic. I love that they have the greenery on them with the red. And then I also love the rattan on the base. I just think it's so beautiful. And I don't know, to me, very nostalgic. And the tall red candles will look perfect in the decor that I'm using this year. So I'm really excited to show you where I place these. But they were definitely one of my favorite finds. The next piece that I picked up is this boho uh, rattan sleigh. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to save this for my winter decor. Let me know if you guys are decorating for winter or if you're going right into Valentine's Day. But I thought I could do a lot for a winter display with this and this was $3.49. The next item might be one of my favorites actually. It was that little cute um, tea light holder. And the reason why I love this so much is I love how the glass looks cracked. I don't know how to describe it and there might be a better word for it, but it almost looks like it was cracked and I love that look. And I just think it's such a unique piece and will fit right in with my kind of vintage decor with the traditional reds and greens this year. Let me know in the comments if you guys love to thrift also. I think I'm feeling really nostalgic and thrifting reminds me of my mom. So I've been loving to do it. And then I had to show the cutest clip of Wolstein because I never really show him getting into mischief. But he loves socks and he went and took my socks from my shoes and he loves to chew them up. So I thought it was really cute. He is a really good boy, but for some reason he just loves playing with socks. He'll run and get them all the time and just chew on them and wants us to chase him around so I thought it was just adorable that little clip so he does get into mischief so now I'm going to show you kind of where I do end up putting my thrift finds because I did want to display them right away. I did layer this Christmas book right on top of my buffet and I have another book there that I think is called Hark the Herald Angels or something like that. It's also a Christmas book so I love how that looks. And then I'm going to go in with these vintage looking candlesticks and just add them to my bookshelf. I'm not going to light these so it's fine that they are on the bookshelf. I just love how they add that really retro feel and I I think they look perfect paired with the Santa Claus and sleigh. And then the last item that I'm going to sh display is this little candle. I wanted this to be front and center, so I thought it would look adorable on this table. And I don't know, something about this piece just feels very nostalgic also. Let me know if you like it or if you have something similar in your decor. But I love that I can add a little tea light and it just adds a cozy little glow to this area of the room. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. It's definitely something different, but it's also fun to try new things and see if you guys enjoy it and switch things up a little bit. So I'm so happy you're all here. I would love it if you would give this video a like if you did enjoy this style. And then I'm also going to show a snippet of our dinner. It turned out so amazing. So until the next video, friends, God bless.